It's crunch time and fostering fiscal responsibility in the corridors of power is the aim of Nigeria's president, Bola Tinubu, who has come under mounting scrutiny over the cost of official trips in the last seven months. A prevalent trend among top government officials in Africa is their penchant for extensive travel with large delegations, despite the strain on their supposedly ailing economies. In the past seven months, both President Bola Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shatima have collectively visited 16 countries, defending these trips as vital for driving foreign direct investment into Nigeria. But critics question the economic impact, particularly given the size of the accompanying delegations. Today, Tinubu has announced sweeping financial austerity measures affecting all federal ministries, departments and agencies, the office of the president, the office of the vice president and that of the first lady. Four members of their staff, uh, appointees and the like, uh, will be allowed to travel with a minister on an official trip. For heads of agency, that will be limited to two members of staff allowed to travel on an official trip. Furthermore, the, the numbers that the president has now approved uh, for official travel with him that will apply to his principal staff uh, are as follows. On international trips, the president has directed that no more than 20 individuals be allowed uh, to travel with him. That number will be cut down to five in the case of the First Lady. Additionally, the number in the entourage on official international trips for the Vice President will be cut to five. The number that will be placed uh, as a limit uh, on the wife of the Vice President is also five. These cost-cutting measures extend to travels within the country. In terms of local trips, the President has approved a new limit of 25 members of staff to accompany him on domestic trips within the country. Uh, the office of the First Lady is now limited to 10 staff members uh, to accompany her on official trips within the country. The Vice President will be limited to 15 members of staff on official trips within the country, while his wife will be limited to 10 members of staff on official trips uh, within the country. You will find that the numbers on international trips are less than those allowed on domestic trips. This is because international trips are far more expensive. And an additional caveat that extensive security delegations accompanying the president and the vice president during local trips will cease to exist. When Mr. President or the vice president travels to any state within the country, the massive bills that accrued due to allowances and ESTA code for security detail coming from Abuja going and traveling into those states will be massively cut due to the directive of the president that the security outfits within states, whether it be police, DSS or branches of the military, will frontline his protective detail when he travels to those states. This decision follows the controversy surrounding the federal government's contentious 1,411 delegates to the United Nations Annual Climate Summit, COP28, in Dubai about a month ago. It remains to be seen if President Tinubu's actions align with his words and what consequences may await the falters. Adesua Omoruan, Arise News.